Hello, movie people. Welcome to Messing with the Cine Guy. I'm your host, Steven Angulo. Let's talk film. So, I got a question for you. Blue pill or red pill? They're both m so it doesn't really matter. We return to the virtual network that loves the color green with The Matrix Resurrections. Yes, a fourth Matrix movie with Keanu Reeves returning as Neo. But wait. Didn't he die in the last movie? Yeah, but you know what? Let's bring him back because why not? It's the era of rebooted sequels. So 60 years later, we're still at war with the machines. Neo is resurrected. And, you know, it's the, the same crap like last time. But of course, since it's been 60 years, all of his friends are dead. Except Jerry Pinkett Smith. She is like really old thanks to makeup. But everybody else, like Lawrence Fishburne, not even there. But wait a minute. I thought Neo's sacrifice in the last movie is what stopped the whole war between the humans and the machines. Well, you gotta have a new antagonist, Terminator Dark Fate style. So who's the new big bad? It's Neil Patrick Harris as the analyst. Basically, he's like the architect, except he's the one that resurrected Neo. And of course, you gotta bring back Agent Smith. Or at least his program now embodied by Jonathan Groff. Okay, I'm all for diversity and everything, especially since we have like, you know, two openly gay actors playing the villains. And also considering the fact that the director is trans, but I don't know. These are two like musical theater baby faced actors. I can't really take them seriously as the bad guys, especially in like a sci fi action movie. And the whole plot is pretty much the same as the first movie. Get out of the Matrix! So, is there a big shot on between the machines and the humans once again? No. It's just a big rescue mission to get Trinity out. Or should I say, Tiffany, a soccer mom that loves coffee. Yeah, they did this to the most badass sci fi heroines. Like, she barely did any action! I mean, the film just holds back on the pizzazz and the action sequences. Like, in the first Matrix movies, it's all known for its, like, incredible martial arts, over-the-top stunts, and its superb visuals. But here, it just feels super rehashed to the point that it's kind of like, I've seen this before, and it's kind of boring. It's the same old, same old. Nothing new or cool. I found myself yawning during the big motorcycle chase. I mean, it is kind of cool that the Matrix can now be used as a weapon from within, in which they turn humans to bots that can, you know, pretty much control their every will. Like, that scene of, like, you know, humans being controlled by the Matrix and just, like, di dive bombing onto them or just attacking them like mindless zombies. Okay, I tolerate that. But Neo, who should be, like, ha the most all-powerful being, okay, he still knows Kung Fu, but to the point it's kind of like, you seem tired from it. I mean, all he does is just use the force and push people away. Even him stopping bullets more like, oh yeah, he can do that. Mm, nothing impressive anymore. Like, honestly, this new movie just felt more like a reminder that this franchise still exists. Like, oh hey, here's Neo and Trinity. You remember them, right? Well, now they're older and they're not going to do anything new. And the new characters just felt more like background actors rather than new heroes. Jessica Henwick as Bugs could have been like the next Morpheus. Or even Trinity. But no, it just she just feels like she's just there. Like, oh yeah, I'm the reminder that it's been a long time. Oh, hi, Neo. Oh, and Morpheus is now played by a new actor. Because apparently his consciousness still lives within the Matrix. So, yeah, it could have been his son or maybe like a trainee you no know, it's just like oh it's still this it's still Lawrence Fishburne but he it's just a different black man pretty much overall it is the requel of the Matrix series it is the Halloween 2018 it is the Force Awakens and it is a Terminator Dark Fate it could be the answer to a new trilogy who knows but honestly this franchise just needs to stop getting rebooted and just you know shut down We've had our fun, it was cool, but like, no more. Do something, hold the power button for more than 15 seconds, just enough. You're not going to show us anything new, what's the point anymore? Control, alt, delete, 
update Windows, I don't know what to do. Maybe the other Wachowski was the more innovative one. I mean, yeah, it's still pretty fun and it was nice, you know, revisiting these characters. But like, I don't know. At this point, it just felt more like self-parody and kind of like... Maybe like a fan film rather than a continuation of this of this series. So my final rating is going to be 7 blue pills out of 10 black cats. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this review. Leave a like, this, subscribe, and join the crew. I sent them for an awesome review. Be sure to follow the Instagram and Twitter at Snickersteven for fun reviews. That is at Cineguy Steven. I'll see you there. This is Steven Girl signing off. Bullet time.